Before the first stars lit the darkness, there was silence. A silence so vast it seemed infinite, an ocean of nothingness stretching beyond imagination. But even in that emptiness, the universe was preparing for something extraordinary. And now, more than 13 billion years later, the James Webb Space Telescope has finally looked deep enough to witness that moment, the edge of time itself. What it found there stunned scientists, because instead of a sky full of early galaxies, the Webb Telescope saw something far more mysterious, a void, an expanse of almost complete emptiness where the universe should have been alive with light. For decades, astronomers have tried to peer into the earliest moments after the Big Bang, searching for the first stars, the first clusters, the first sparks of creation. But e the deeper Webb looks, the more it reveals something Einstein predicted a century ago, that space and time themselves could bend, stretch, and even empty in ways that defy human intuition. And now, evidence suggests he may have been right after all. When scientists first aimed Webb at a region of the sky so distant that its light has been traveling since the dawn of time, they expected to see the chaotic glow of early galaxies. These would have been small, messy, and irregular, tiny islands of light struggling to form amid cosmic dust. Instead, what Webb captured was nothing, or almost nothing. A dark gap stretching across millions of light years, a region so barren that even background radiation seemed thinner. It wasn't a failure of the telescope. It wasn't a glitch. It was reality, a vast cosmic emptiness right where cosmological models said the first clusters should be. So what did Webb actually see? To understand that, we need to go back to Einstein. More than a century ago, in 1917, Albert Einstein applied his general theory of relativity to the entire universe. His equations revealed something shocking. Space itself is not static. It can expand, contract, and curve depending on the distribution of energy and matter. But at the time, Einstein didn't believe the universe was expanding. He assumed it was eternal and unchanging. So we added what he called a cosmological constant to balance things out, a force to keep the universe stable. Years later, Edwin Hubble proved that galaxies are racing away from each other. The universe was expanding after all. Einstein reportedly called his constant the greatest blunder of his career. Maybe it wasn't a blunder. Because today, that same cosmological constant has returned in a new form, what we now call dark energy, the mysterious force accelerating the universe's expansion. And that force may be directly tied to the strange emptiness Webb is now seeing. When scientists examined the Webb data, they found that the regions of emptiness weren't random. They followed patterns that match Einstein's equations. Zones where gravity, light, and space-time interact in such a way that expansion pulls matter apart faster than it can gather. These voids are like cosmic scars, the silent fingerprints of gravity and energy battling for control of creation. At the very edge of the observable universe, about 13.6 billion years back in time, Webb observed a transition zone, a boundary between brightness and nothingness. In this boundary, light from distant galaxies fades sharply replaced by faint whispers of radiation and almost perfect dark. It's as though the universe hits a wall of silence. To scientists, this is thrilling, because this might not just be an empty space, it could be a window into the universe before structure existed, a time when matter had not yet condensed into stars, when everything was 
a smooth soup of particles. Einstein's equations predicted such a state, a moment before chaos took shape, when energy and gravity were perfectly balanced, but no telescope had ever confirmed it, until now. And here's where the story gets even stranger. When Webb's sensors captured this vast cosmic void, the instruments also detected subtle fluctuations in the background infrared radiation. Tiny ripples, barely visible. Those ripples matched the predictions of quantum fluctuations from the very first fractions of a second after the Big Bang. In other words, Webb may have just seen the faint memory of creation itself, the imprint of quantum energy expanding into space-time, just as Einstein and later physicists like Alan Guth described in the inflationary model of the universe. But this discovery also deepens the mystery, because the emptiness Webb observed appears more absolute than expected. According to current models, even in the so-called dark ages of the universe, roughly 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang, there should still be faint traces of hydrogen gas glowing under cosmic radiation. Instead, in this new observation, Webb found vast regions where even that faint glow seems absent. This raises two possibilities, both extraordinary. It could mean our understanding of the early universe's evolution is incomplete, that the formation of stars and galaxies took much longer to ignite than we thought. Perhaps the universe's first light didn't emerge evenly, but flickered on in patches, leaving behind great cosmic deserts that lasted for eons. Or second, and far more daring, it could mean that space itself isn't uniform, that the fabric of the cosmos may be expanding unevenly, influenced by dark energy in ways we don't yet understand. Some scientists are already calling this discovery Einstein's Echo, because this strange void might be physical proof that the structure of space-time can stretch differently across different regions of the universe. In Einstein's view, space is not an empty stage, it's a dynamic field, shaped and sculpted by energy. If energy is uneven, so is space. And Webb may have just shown us what that looks like on a cosmic scale. Imagine for a moment what that means. Beyond the galaxies, beyond the visible light, there may exist cosmic rivers, currents of expanding space flowing faster than the speed of light, carrying matter away before it can even form. In these regions, light from newborn galaxies would never reach us, swallowed by expansion itself. That's not science fiction. It's the edge of physics as we know it. The deeper Webb looks, the more we realize how fragile our understanding is. For decades, we thought we could describe the universe in simple terms. A Big Bang, expansion, cooling, structure, stars. But the emptiness Webb is now revealing doesn't fit so neatly. It's almost as if the universe had pauses, moments of stillness woven between bursts of creation. And it's those pauses, those silent intervals, that Einstein's theory helps us see. His equations predict that gravity can only shape the universe up to a certain point. Beyond that, dark energy takes over, stretching space faster than matter can respond. That may be exactly what Webb is seeing, the places where the universe's earliest matter was torn apart before it could form galaxies. It's poetic in a way, creation and destruction happening side by side, written in the fabric of time. But let's go even deeper. If these voids are real, they could also hold the key to understanding why the universe looks the way it does today. The vast cosmic web, the filaments of galaxies we see in every direction, may have grown around these voids, like foam forming around bubbles. In fact, the modern universe still contains enormous empty spaces 
hundreds of millions of light years wide. Perhaps these are the descendants of the first voids Webb is now uncovering, echoes of that ancient imbalance between energy and gravity. Some researchers even believe these voids might serve as natural laboratories for testing Einstein's relativity, because inside them, space-time is less curved, gravity is weaker, and light travels with fewer distortions. By studying how light from distant galaxies bends as it passes near these empty regions, scientists can directly test how space behaves under extreme conditions. And so far, every observation continues to confirm Einstein's predictions again and again. But there's another layer to this story. Some cosmologists think the void Webb found could hint at something far beyond relativity, something bordering on the metaphysical. What if this emptiness isn't just a lack of matter, but a remnant of something that existed before the Big Bang? It's a provocative idea that our universe might have emerged from a previous one, that the voids we see now are faint scars from an earlier cosmic cycle. In this view, the universe is eternal, oscillating between expansion and collapse, each cycle giving birth to a new cosmos. And in each one, the same laws, Einstein's laws, govern how it unfolds. That means what Webb is seeing at the edge of time might not just be the beginning of our universe, but a hint of what came before. For now, though, the simplest explanation remains the most elegant. Einstein was right. Space is not passive, it's alive, dynamic, and restless. It bends around matter, stretches under energy, and in the deepest voids, it may even whisper the story of creation. Every time Webb looks farther, we are reminded that the universe is not a static thing. It's a living organism of physics, evolving and breathing across billions of years. Einstein gave us the language to describe that motion. Webb is giving us the eyes to see it. In one sense, this discovery brings us full circle. Einstein once imagined a universe that could stretch and curve like rubber. Today, Webb is showing us that rubber being pulled to its limit, stretched across the cosmos, revealing the hollows that formed in between. And maybe that's where the true beauty lies. Not in the stars we can see, but in the empty spaces between them. Because those voids are not nothing. They are the canvas upon which the universe paints itself. So what do you think? Are these voids the echo of the universe's first heartbeat? Are we witnessing Einstein's equations come alive at the edge of time? Or is this emptiness a clue to something even older? Something beyond the Big Bang itself? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Cosmos Prodigy for more journeys to the farthest edges of space and time. Because every time we look deeper into the void, we find that it's not really empty. It's full of possibilities.